Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. In our top stories this week, we look at South Africa's opportunity to boost its manganese business with the help of the world's biggest mining company. The airports company reports on its readiness for the 2010 World Cup. And we look at South African gold major Harmony, which has declared its first dividend in five years. This week, Mining Weekly captures the views of the topmost BHP Billiton executives on the need for South Africa to develop a bigger and better railway system to the coast for manganese exports. Martin Kremer has the story. BHP Billiton South African CEO Marius Kloppers and the company's manganese head Peter Bevan both put the case for a logistics partnership with Transnet in order to lower the cost of manganese exports from the Northern Cape. What we do know is that there are very significant manganese resources in the um, in the Kalahari, and uh, we've basically got a logistical constraint. Yeah, there is uh, there is more demand than capacity at this point in time, so you know. That is, that is really the fundamental business case. In addition to that, we've got to find a lower, lower cost option. But if we want to grow structurally our manganese business of a very, very good resource base, not only ours, but, but, but the country's, I mean, it, it is important that we, in due course, find, a, find another export route with more, with more capacity. And, and, and we um, you know, look, look forward to, to continuing to work with all of the people other producers, service providers, and so on, towards making that a reality. We are we are back into into, into selling some product now. The Chinese are starting to, to restock. In fact, they're probably towards the end of their restocking in the, in the manganese uh, industry there. And uh, we're starting to see some blast furnaces turn back on in, in Europe and in the US. And so that market's starting to come back to life a little bit. Um, you know, prices have. have uh, have started. If you look at the spot prices, which are published, uh, you see that ore prices have started to tick back up again, as have alloy prices. So. That new investment drives new opportunities, new opportunities for for empowerment because you're making a new investment. Uh, you you need new partners, new opportunity to socially develop, new new opportunities to hire hire people. South Africa should take up BHP Bulletin's investment offer in order to pave the way for greater manganese exports at lower cost. In less than 300 days, South Africa will be hosting the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Dennis Ndaba spoke to airports company South Africa MD Monkla Klachla about its 2010 preparations. AXA has revised its 2010 World Cup related infrastructure expenditure down to 17.8 billion from 19 billion owing to the prevailing economic squeeze. However, AXA is adamant that it will complete essential 2010 related projects for the efficient facilitation of the Soccer World Cup, which is a strategic investment for the company and the country. Our plans are on budget within the current year. Um, we are about 70% uh, to 73% underway um, because we are transforming a number of our airports. Some of them are more uh, towards completion, like our Tambo uh, by December, a lot of it will be done. Uh, Cape Town, uh, most of it will be done by, by December, uh, with the last part to be completed by February, March. And then the one that everybody knows that it's, it's, it's the, the biggest construction site is La Messi. Uh, we are about 60% uh, on the way. Uh, we should be completing it um, also around February, but because of the testing of the various elements that are more than the other airports, we will only say that we are completing it all around May because at that time we decommissioned one and commissioned a new one. One of the things that happens to you in this climate is that when you do your, your plans you, you also have a guarantee in a business like ours that uh, you are going to be generating good revenues so that even if you borrowed um, your cash flow stream is, uh, is quite robust. With a decline of, of an average of 7.7% um, it means that the revenue base is lower. The amount of money you generate out of that base is much lower than before, or lower than what you've expected. Um, on that basis, we've had to um, to defer to later years um, a uh, a small amount of projects, amounting to five billion, 
um, between 2008 and 2010. Martin Kremer spoke to Harmony Gold CEO Graham Briggs, who managed to turn a 4 billion rand deficit into 1.6 billion rand in cash. Perhaps the biggest threat to Harmony's growth plan of 2.2 million ounces by 2012 is the strong rand. To get from sort of 1.5 million to 2.2 is, is quite ambitious. We continue to spend capital, and so Duancorp, Pakisa, you know, those sort of uh, assets, um, Hidden Valley, uh, Airlines Rant, are very important in our growth profile. And they start to deliver. You know, really coming into this year, they're starting to deliver. They're just starting to ramp up, starting to increase. So that's quite exciting. If you've got cash in hand, it means your assets are unencumbered. That means if something comes up and you need your assets to support a deal or something happening, you can actually do it. So there's more to just having cash in, in the bank. It actually means my assets, the company's assets, are unencumbered. Buying the liquidated Pomodzi on the cheap is a bonus. It's got lots of synergy and growth potential, so we can get synergy with management and different shafts and different parts of the operation. So that's quite important. We don't have to add more management to be able to manage that. Obviously, there'll be the interim and the building up, and we'll focus a lot on that. But, but you know, it's, we surround those assets, so it makes good logic sense. And now for a sneak preview of this week's Engineering News magazine. Read our cover story on the embattled South African property market where signs of green shoots are starting to emerge. We report that the environmental study into a 1.5 billion rand Western Cape wind farm project will start next month. And state-owned defence industrial group Danel aims to return to profitability by 2012. And in Mining Weekly this week. Our cover story looks at the role that carbon capture and storage plays in transforming coal into a cleaner technology. Simmer and Jack Mines warns that it may have to close more shafts to stop a cash bleed. And diversified miner Exaro says a new rail link between the Waterberg and Mpumalanga is needed to ensure South Africa's energy security. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. Prima Media's engineering news has delivered unmatched insight into the real economy. For breaking news, visit engineeringnews.co.za. The engineering news, not just for engineers.